After having introduced you to the playful giant manters and friendly dolphins of the Socorro Islands, the missing pieces of the puzzle that complete every diver's dream are the sharks. This animal is perhaps the first animal that jumps to people's minds when we talk about the ocean in general. Sharks were once feared like no other animal on earth. Hollywood's part in demonizing sharks is beyond imagination. Sharks are apex predators, which have fascinated us since the beginning of time. More than 500 different species of sharks roam the oceans since more than 420 million years. While at other dive destinations one might see one to four different species of sharks, if any, the Socorro Islands are home to a real abundance of variety of sharks. We regularly identify between six to eight species within one week of diving. Sometimes literally all of them in just one dive. They are all unique and different in their look, size and behavior, but what they all have in common is the fascination they are exerting upon divers. The smaller white tip reef shark, for example, is the only species at the Socorros that can lay motionless on the bottom while still being able to breathe. That sometimes leads to extraordinary stacks of sharks, especially at Rocca Partida. The curious silky shark with its shiny bronze color is slim and streamlined and has a fairly long, rounded snout. We often encounter these inquisitive sharks in blue water during our safety stops or underneath our mother ships when we are anchored. One of the highlights of all Nautilus Liverboard's trips is the night snorkeling experience we offer with them. While silkies are feared in many parts of the world, they seem to feel so coral love and generally behave like puppies when we see them. Carcarhinus galapagensis, also known as Galapagos sharks, have this typical shark-like appearance you would expect when you think of a shark, and which is typical for the family of requiem sharks that they belong to. A broad and wide snout, a tall and sickle-shaped fin, and a streamlined, dark and muscular body are the physical characteristics of this up to 10 feet long animal. Hammerhead sharks are, what can we say, just magical. No need to further explain where their name comes from or how they look. Everyone knows. Let us tell you instead that the experience of being surrounded by a school of scalloped hammers will likely be one of the best underwater moments you will ever have. It also somehow honors you as a very good diver, since these animals are extremely shy and the only reason you made it into the midst of them is because you've earned it through your silent, stealth-like approach. We have had rare sightings of great hammerheads as well, Threshers and oceanic white tips, and we continue to experiment to try and figure out how we might see more of them. Tiger sharks are among the biggest species of predatory fish at the archipelago. Great whites can be even bigger, but we have only seen them a couple of times. Tigers can reach up to 20 feet in length and are easily identified by the dark and vertical stripes on their bodies. Its size, and especially its somewhat unfavorable reputation, makes this an exciting encounter if you get lucky enough to see one. Silver tip sharks also belong to the family of Requiem sharks. They are usually more difficult to approach than Galapagos sharks, with whom they often share space. The silvery tips on each of their fins gave them their name. 
Large numbers of juvenile silver tips are a regular sight at the island of San Benedicto, whereas Roca Partida is home to large and dominant adults. The black tip shark has a robust, fusiform body with a pointed snout and long gill slits. It's not a very common sight, but we have been seeing them more and more often in recent times. And here comes the biggest of them all. Rincodon typus, the docile and majestic whale shark. A sight that provokes instant excitement for all divers, no matter their level of experience. This slow-moving and filter-feeding carpet shark can reach up to 15 meters in length and weight up to 30 tons. It dwarfs anything near it. We see them at all dive sites, but the best chance for an encounter is at Roca Partida. When you cruise this monumental dive site in the Eastern Pacific, and then this giant enters the stage, you may as well end your diving career right there, because it will not get any better than this. With the sharks, dolphins and mantis, we showed you three of the many reasons that have made the Socorro Islands what they are today. But when you think it ends here, then just wait another week. There is more to come. <laughs>